internet, Mark here, also known as Strepto sometimes. I was preparing some new gear and I thought we might do a little tutorial today on how to uh, bulletproof the old Spyro net from Immersion RC because I have to do a couple myself. And these guys are great, they're solid compared to the, um, the open designs but if you fly hard and crash hard they do tend to uh, explode and get damaged and you end up with little flat mushrooms. So what we're going to do first of all is going to pop the little helmet off. You can see the clover leaf in there. And these little points where it attaches onto the plastic tend to break and then the whole thing comes loose and that can actually squish that whole clover leaf. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some of the old super glue and we're going to just dab that on there to uh, keep those in place under stress. Super glue doesn't want to come out. I did check earlier. Right, as I was saying, I want to drop a little bit on to each of the attachment points. The cover there. And because I'm impatient, I'm going to just get a little bit of kicker and that'll sort that out. Next, pop the uh, little helmet back on. Now, what a lot of people have done in the past is they've super glued around there, but I've found that doesn't last either. So, I'm going to use heat shrink. I'm going to use heat shrink on the stems too because it breaks here and here generally. So we've got some 40ml heat shrink from Hobby King and some 8ml heat shrink from JCAR. This is this dual wall stuff. It shrinks to one quarter of the size instead of half and it's actually got um, some hot melt glue on the inside too. This stuff is awesome. 8ml um, is a little bit small for this. So it's going to be a bit of a mission to get it on. You should probably buy 10ml if they sell 10 mil. So we just need a couple of short lengths of that and then we get it on here. One and one for the bottom two. Generally we want a little bit longer than the connector. If you're flying a vortex the antenna that you got with the uh, copter should already have heat shrink on the bottom. Otherwise you won't be able to actually screw it on. Like I said, 10 mil. Right. Now that we've got our heat shrink in place, we're going to shrink it. Normally people use a hot air gun, but they're pussies. We're going to use one of these because it's much more fun and it annoys Scotty. Yes, the horror. Look at that. Right. Now for the helmet. Mm -hmm. Don't need much of this stuff. Just enough. Fifty mil is probably too big for this as well, but it works, and it's also useful for battery packs that have had accidents. Just be careful when you do this not to overheat the um, little helmet, or it'll sort of melt and distort. Antenna will still be fine, but. It won't feel pretty and rounded anymore. And that's it. You have now bulletproofed your Spyro net for a while. Enjoy the flying. Bye now.